We are here at Millbrook Disc Golf Course in Churchville, Chase 900. Let's get to it. Spin it. Alright DMD family welcome back to another Discs MD video bunkie here and today we're at Churchville uh, Millbrook disc golf course in Churchville. This was built uh, around 2018. Uh, I don't play here a lot. I've played here before played a couple of tour tournaments here. Um, it's a it's a shorter course easier course. So uh, we're gonna see if we can hit 900 uh, the last tournament that I have recorded here in PDGA uh, this is a par 54. We're going to play red to red, which is short, short layout here, red to red. Uh, par is 54. Uh, 908 was a um, 49 round, so five under. So five under is a 908, and I think it's 14 points for every stroke uh, up or down. So we can figure it out from there. I may put a graphic up here what I need to shoot. Um, so I need to shoot five under for a 908. Uh, and uh, let's see if we can do it. Let's get on to hole one. All right, so we have hole number one here, 408 feet uh, straight out in the open, downhill a good bit. So I'm going to throw my Brazos here. So I'm going to be talking through some things as I go through, just like the last one I did uh, at, uh, at Muddy Run Silvers. So I got a lot of feedback from that one, uh, and I appreciate that. So the first thing is slow down. I rush. I need to take my time. You have 30 seconds to take your shot. Take the 30 seconds, get into a groove, get into a rhythm, visualize your shot and take it. So 400, uh, sorry, 209 feet to the basket down there, my Brazos, let's get to it. Swing it out left and then let it fade. A little too much. That's all right, probably like a 40 footer down there. Let's go see. All right, so we have a 50 footer here to start. For some reason, my Benny didn't make it back in my bag. So uh, I'm gonna be putting with my Artemis, which feels like the Benny, but not my putting putter. Short, we'll dump that in for the par and move on. All right, and here it is. This is a longer putt than I usually like to POV, but there we go. Par and on to hole number two. All right, hole number two, 236 feet. Uh, hopefully you can see it. It's up on a bunch of rocks up there. So there are a bunch of holes here that you want to attack. That first one is one that you want to birdie on. So unfortunate that I parred it, but uh, this one's 236 feet up on a bunch of rocks. We're going to send the horny toad up there and see what happens. Yeah, we'll have a long putt. We'll see. All right. Right out, sir. Let me get my marker. I think we're just outside circle here. Pretty uphill. A lot of rocks. Floaty bed. Nope. All right. Hopefully that settled up there for the par. Even through two. Let's go. Yeah, there it is, settled on a rock. So this one, it, there's rollway potential, so it's kind of scary to um, run this one, but we'll just tap this one in and move on to hole three. All right, this is 219 feet, uh, and admittedly, this this course is the weakest part of my game. So these are all you know, low to mid 200s, a couple a little over 250, but usually 250 and below. And to me, that's the weak spot of my game, that, that 200, 250 foot approach. So this is going to be tough for me and, and, and I'm glad about it. So uh, it's, it's up around the, the corner there. You may be able to see it through the trees. I have a backhand hyzer route, uh, narrow gap, but going to use my horny toad. Try to just punch it through up there. <sighs> Get 
Get out. Mm, that's way short. Okay. All right. Underestimating my throws right now. Need to juice it up a little bit. Uh, that must have hit something. This is really shorter than I thought. So, good. I don't know, 70 or probably 80 or 90 feet, actually. <sighs> ah, it was a decent run. We'll go up, tap that in for the par, and move on to four. I know you all don't need to see these tap ins, but I like to do them just to show you that I'm not cheating. Although I'm not marking, so I guess that is technically cheating. But par on to four. All right, 233 foot par three. They're all par threes. 233 feet out to the left of the tee box up through here. You should be able to see it through the trees. Hopefully it's a red flag. I'm going to forehand my Artemis. Again, take my time, visualize my shot, pick out my aim, go through my routine, and make a throw. Skip. Yeah, that should roll up there nice. Let's go get it. Okay, so that was a great line, but not enough power. So I probably should have used my midi. My horny toad is probably more of a 200 foot forehand and not a 230 forehand shot. Lesson learned. Next time we'll use the midi or the walker. Long putt here. Glide. Oh, that was so close. Flipped out of the edge. You don't need to see that one tapped in, right? We'll just move on to five. All right, 243 feet uh, up and to the right. So a nice backhand, backhand hyzer route for me. Uh, I, I'm learning I like the Artemis for putting. It's glidey. Maybe for my longer putts, use the Artemis. I'm I, I like the feel of it. Anyway, I'm going to use my midi here, something to give me a little bit, you know, more distance, but not have to throw it too, too hard. Um, the, the first uh, commenter told me, slow down. Another commenter told me, don't think about the score. Think about the shot you're taking. And that's solid advice. I mean, there's times when we have to think, I need to make this shot. But never think about the score you're trying to achieve. Always think about the shot you're taking, right? Keep it in the moment. So that's what we're going to do. Go through my routine. Slow. <sighs> okay, that's through up there, but way right. Didn't, didn't get that out left enough, but we'll see. Not doing myself any favors, keep giving myself these long 45, 50 look putts, 45, 50 foot putts. So let's see if we can put this one in. Ah, long. Again, a tap in for a par, but that's not going to cut it. We got to start birdieing some of these. So the goal is get inside the circle on your drive. <laughs> We'll show putting this one out just because it's, you know, a 10 footer and you know, these are, these are a little iffy. All right. On to hole number six, still at even. All right. 281 feet, a straight flyer. I mean, it's to the left of the tee pad, but if I angle myself, it's just a, you know, 280 foot straight shot. I'm going to try my BB six here. Pick my aim point, go through my routine. Fade, fade, fade. All right, another 50 footer. Let's go get it. All right, here we are. Probably going to be a straddle putt here. Right, this is the brook, Mill Brook. All right, so again, another 45, 50 footer. Let me get my putter. <laughs> All right, take our time, visualize, make sure a nice clean release. That's all right, stayed up. We're within five feet there. Let's go tap it in. Nice little six footer. 
So here is where, focus, here is where the advice to not think about score comes in because at this point I'm through six, I'm still even, I need to get the five under and I could start, I could see myself start pushing here. Oh, I got to get birdies, I got to get a birdie. So let's not do that. Let's just think about the next shot and make a good shot and see what happens. All right, 243 feet uh, up and to the left, forehand, uh, straight up the gap, a little gap, but forehand straight up the middle here, let it fade to the left. I'm going to throw my Brazos just so I can smooth it. So pick my line, find out where I'm throwing it. Yeah, that'll do. Maybe short, but... That was the right line. I, I, I'm hitting my lines, which I'm really happy about. So just, I think the distance control right now, I'm, I'm just short on everything. Maybe I'm afraid to throw it too hard, but hitting the lines, which I'm, which is good. Here we go. First tester putt for birdie. I'm guessing like 18 feet. And there we are. Broke the ice. First birdie. See, just think about the next shot. All right, uh, on to hole eight. All right, this is a 284 footer. Uh, I don't know if you could see the flag through there or not. It's up to the right. Uh, nice backhander, hyzer line. I'm going to disc up, not worrying about throwing it too hard. So I'm going to throw my Mad Cat, which is a nine speed here, which if I get into it, it's a little too much disc, but I just want to smooth something out there and um, make sure I hit my line. It's busy today, so... There's a lot of people here. <laughs> Pick my line. Let go of it too soon. All right, let's go. All right, if you see that big boulder right there, the pin is right behind that. So scramble mode, just get up and down for par here. Can't take a bogey. Yeah, that should be the par. I mean, 20 footer, but we should be able to make that. All right, yeah, about a 20 footer here. Oh, actually maybe less, hold on. Oh yeah, 15 footer, 15 footer. Giving myself too much credit here. All right, moving on to the last hole of the front nine. Sitting at one under, it'd be nice to get this one. But again, one throw at a time. Here we go. All right, it says 230, but it looks so much farther than 230. Uh, up and to the right here, narrow backhand line, uh, narrow gap at front here. I'm gonna use my Mad Cat, just make sure to keep it up in the air. It is, it is a good bit uphill here. Visualize, hit the line. <sighs> Sit. Ah, long putt, but it's up there. All right, here we go. Another 55, 60 footer for birdie. See if we can make it. Oh, we did it. Finally nailed one. All right. All right, there you have it. That's the front nine for Chasing 900 at Churchville, uh, Millbrook. Um, we're two under right now, shooting for five under to get a 908 ranged uh, round. Thanks uh, again for coming along. And uh, thanks for the tips. Thanks for the encouragement. And I'm going to be using them. Uh, you'll you'll hear me from time to time reference them, but thanks for all the support and uh, hope to catch you on the back nine. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.